ladies and gentlemen, uh, I'm, first of all, I'm so honored and proud that I'm, I'm the only Englishman that uh, has had this great honor of being uh, an honorary chairman of the OSS. I know the OSS well. I admire them. They are my friends. And one or two have been my comrades in perhaps things we should do, and one or two parties that perhaps we shouldn't do. <laughs> but it's great fun. I have been here, not only for the OSS, but I wanted to meet as many of your politicians as I could. I think it's absolutely important we live in a very difficult world. We also uh, are suffering both our countries from not only problems and problems ahead. We're suffering from cuts and reorganization and things like that. This is the time that allies must stay together. We must make certain that both of us, our security apparatus, our agencies, our special forces, England or Britain and America, stay together. We are old allies. My father used to say, I can normally deal with the enemy, but allies, good God. <laughs> uh, and, but with us, we don't have that. We have a long history, but it's more important. Let me just take it down to the ground. I can tell you that my SAS are so close with your special forces, and they're particularly close with Delta, and they do things together. They compete a little bit, of course, and that puts ginger into it, but they are together. I was at our base in Hereford two weeks ago, and I was tripping over more very fine Delta, I think, than SAS. I think they like the English whiskey or Scottish whiskey. <laughs> now, let us drink to our allies, and I'm looking very hard at America. <laughs> allies. I thought today, ladies and gentlemen, we'd look inwards. Uh, look at ourselves. America, Britain. We are good allies, and this is going to be a toast to the allies. But I'd just like to take you across to Burma for a minute. In the longest retreat, I think probably in history, about a thousand miles going backwards. You get to get know the chap you're with pretty well going backwards. <laughs> and uh, one was Bill Slim, my dad, and the other was Vinegar Joe Stillwell. And Vinegar Joe didn't like limes. <laughs> and uh, I think he didn't quite enjoy always the company of his, some of his fellow Americans. <laughs> but he made it clear that he didn't uh, go for the British very much. He thought we were rather wet and useless. Uh, well, he may have a point, I don't know. <laughs> You're the judge of that. He, they worked very hard together on that retreat. It, uh, it was a no-hoper, but they did everything they could to uh, kill quite a number of Japs, which was the thing of the day. Uh, one day they were being mortared. Joe turned to my father and said, you know, Bill, I think we must share the same ancestors. And my father thought <coughs> it had all got a bit too much for him. And... Uh, uh, he said, what do you mean? And Joe knew his history. And he said, uh, didn't you have that king, Ethel the Unready? <laughs> A little later on, uh, I, I had the privilege of meeting uh, General Stobel quite often. But a little later on, uh, he said, the only goddamn limey I'll take orders from is 
Sim. Well, it worked. But when he left, uh, he came to say goodbye to my father. You wanted him back home. And he, uh, he said, Have I, haven't I been a good subordinate? I've obeyed all your orders. And my father said to him, Joe, you old devil, of course you obeyed all the orders because I only gave you the ones you wanted. <laughs> also in Burma, I have the honor to know Detachment 101 uh, OSS very well over many, many years. And I think you should be proud of them today as you were in the war. Their name in Burma, and I go there quite a lot, I helped run four quite big charities there, and the name in the Kachin tribe where they worked with these wonderful OSS warriors is very high. So I hope you will drink a toast to the Allies you and me, and 101. It's uh, a great honor to be back, and this time with my wife. Please don't mess with her. <laughs> <laughs> you, she has completed my close quarter battle course that we run in Hereford. <laughs> My soldiers called her the fastest draw from a handbag. <laughs> and she drew twice in the Yemen when we were doing some funny things there. I wasn't with her. And the Arabs were so amazed, they went off rather fast. She didn't have to shoot. I was very sad. She did nailed, she did nailed, nailed those three buggers straight away. <laughs> mm -hmm. Now, the toast is to the Allies, and by goodness me, we're having trouble with some of our Allies today. <laughs> We've got this fellow in Spain who always wants Gibraltar. We've got the lady in the Argentine who wants the Falklands. Uh, my house is for sale, and uh, if anyone wants it, uh, the money's got to be good, of course. But, uh, and you're having a little trouble with some of our Europeans at the moment. <laughs> it's not easy. Allies are never easy. And uh, I think we should forget them tonight. <laughs> it's our party. There are people in my ministry of this and that back home, and you've got ministries and secretaries of this and that. Let them handle it. <laughs> we don't want to. We're here to honor a very great admiral, and we're here because we're all damn proud of the OSS. So very quickly, to our allies. <laughs> 